Hi, everybody. Michael Britt here from the Cengage Higher Ed Community. I recently created a critical thinking post. Now, the idea for the post started with the death of Coco the gorilla. She was the gorilla who used sign language to communicate with humans. Now, there's a lot of controversy surrounding this, and I wanted students to take a critical eye on the topic. Did Coco really communicate the way human beings do? Well, we're really not sure, but some researchers say no. Now, to create the exercise, I drew upon one of the community's favorite books, What the Best College Teachers Do, by Ken Bain. What Bain suggests is that instead of lecturing on a topic, we consider first presenting the bigger, compelling question. In this case, perhaps it's, can we communicate with animals? Then we find out what students already think about that question. Then we gather the resources we want students to draw upon, and we think about what's the best way to present these resources. So here are my resources. Two videos found on YouTube that show Coco communicating with her trainers. Then I needed a couple videos that might challenge students' thinking on this issue. The ones that came to mind are a video by B.F. Skinner in which he trained pigeons to play ping pong, and a video about Clever Hans, the horse who, until he was observed scientifically, everyone thought could count. And to demonstrate how easily we see human qualities in inanimate things, I chose this movie trailer about a tire that appears to have human qualities. I also wanted students to answer a question on a 10-point scale. Does Coco use language the way humans do? So, how to put this little exercise together? I decided to first have the students watch the two videos about Coco communicating with her trainers. Then, I would ask them the survey question. Then, I would show them the three videos that might make them question their initial stance on the issue. And then I decided to ask the survey question again to see if their position on this question had changed. And perhaps we watch the Coco videos again, this time with a more critical eye. Now here you see me going back and forth between my list of resources, which I put into Word, and then into Padlet. This exercise could be put together using simple text and links, but I like the way Padlet packages the whole thing up so that the exercise can be easily shared among faculty and students. When you're done, you just copy the link to the Padlet and put it in your MindTap or LMS course, or create an account in Padlet, and then you can remake the exercise and adjust it any way you want. The real work of putting this exercise together was in the selection and planning of the videos and deciding when to present them to students to really get them thinking. So check out the Cengage Higher Ed community. We are on a mission to change the way you teach online. So join the community and subscribe to our blogs and forums to get more exercises like this one.